This question asks us to identify the original amino acid sequence of a peptide that was roasted with acid and the stuff that was isolated after it was all done happened to be three fragments left. One of them had this sequence, one had this sequence, and the other had this sequence. But all of these three sequences were once upon a time originally all appended together in one uh, initial peptide. So what could that uh, original peptide sequence have been? Well, the way you answer this is by looking for overlaps. You'll notice that this small peptide has a glycine in it. Does anything else have a glycine in it? Well, this one does right here. You'll also notice that this peptide has a proline in it. Is there anything else that has a proline in it? Well, that one does there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to match overlap. So I've got arginine proline. Arginine appended to proline right here. And then I continue with this sequence right here, leucine, glycine. And then I continue with the sequence over here, isoleucine, valine. What must have initially happened is we had a bunch of this peptide getting chewed apart by acid. And uh, some of that chewing apart uh, cleaved right here and gave a fragment that had arginine proline. Some of the chewing apart actually cleaved right uh, here and gave some proline, leucine, glycine. And some of that uh, chewing apart happened right here, giving glycine, isoleucine, valine. So that is the original sequence of the full peptide. The next half of this question asks us what fragments would be produced if we took this peptide right here and stirred it with trypsin, and then separately took the same peptide and uh, stirred it with chymotrypsin. Now we need to remember that chymotrypsin, which has a longer name, dissolves or uh, cleaves more proteins. Chymotrypsin does phenylalanine, uh, tryptophan, and tyrosine. And if you actually look at the structures of these, they are somewhat related. And then trypsin does lysine and arginine. Now these two enzymes will cleave on the carboxyl side, that is on the right side, as we write this from the N-terminus to the C-terminus of the peptide. So what I'm going to be doing for chymotrypsin is I'm going to be looking for any phenylalanines, tryptophans, or tyrosines. As we scan down this, do we see any of those? Hmm, I don't see any of those three, which means that if you took this peptide, stirred it in the presence of chymotrypsin, you would get absolutely no fragmentation whatsoever. Now what if you subjected this to uh, trypsin? Do we see any of those amino acids here? Well, the only one that we see is arginine. So if we took this peptide, stirred it with trypsin, which I misspelled evidently, it would cleave on the carboxyl end of arginine. So you get two fragments. One would be arginine all by itself, and the other would be this five amino acid long fragment.